Hamas and Putin represent different threats, but they share this in common. They both want to completely annihilate a neighboring democracy, completely annihilate it. We're going to send to Congress an urgent budget request to fund America's national security needs, to support our critical partners, including Israel and Ukraine. It's a smart investment. Good evening, my fellow Americans. We're facing an inflection point in history. One of those moments where the decisions we make today are going to determine the future for decades to come. More than 1,300 people slaughtered in Israel, including at least 32 American citizens. Scores of innocents, from infants to the elderly grandparents, Israelis, Americans taken hostage. And as I told the families of Americans being held captive by Hamas, we're pursuing every avenue to bring their loved ones home. As president, there is no higher priority for me than the safety of American self hostage. The terrorist group Hamas unleashed pure, unadulterated evil in the world. Hamas and Putin represent different threats, but they share this in common. They both want to completely annihilate a neighboring democracy, completely annihilate it. Hamas' stated purpose for existing is the destruction of the state of Israel and the murder of Jewish people. Hamas does not represent the Palestinian people. Hamas uses Palestinian civilians as human shields, and innocent Palestinian families are suffering greatly because of them. Meanwhile, Putin denies Ukraine has or ever had real statehood. He claims the Soviet Union created Ukraine. And just two weeks ago, he told the world that if the United States and our allies withdraw, and if the United States withdraw, our allies will as well, military support for Ukraine would have, quote, a week left to live, but we're not withdrawing. I know these conflicts can seem far away. And it's natural to ask, why does this matter to America? So let me share with you why making sure Israel and Ukraine succeed is vital for America's national security. You know, history has taught us that when terrorists don't pay a price for their terror, when dictators don't pay a price for their aggression, they cause more chaos and death and more destruction. They keep going. And the cost and the threats to America and the world keep rising. So if we don't stop Putin's appetite for power and control in Ukraine, he won't limit himself just to Ukraine. And if we walk away and let Putin erase in Ukraine's independence, would-be aggressors around the world be emboldened to try the same? The risk of conflict and chaos could spread in other parts of the world, in the Indo-Pacific, in the Middle East, especially in the Middle East. American leadership is what holds the world together. American alliances are what keep us, America, safe. American values are what make us a partner that other nations want to work with. To put all that at risk, if we walk away from Ukraine, we turn our backs on Israel, it's just not worth it. That's why tomorrow I'm going to send to Congress an urgent budget request to fund America's national security needs support our critical partners, including Israel and Ukraine, is a smart investment that's going to pay dividends for American security for generations. Help us keep American troops out of harm's way. Help us build a world that is safer, more peaceful, more prosperous for our children and grandchildren. 